Now to the latest on the missing Rexburg kids case. We brought you the breaking news when police arrested Lori Vallow last week. She is currently being held in a Kauai jail on $5 million bond. Today, a public information officer with the Hawaii Department of Public Safety told us Lori received a one hour visit yesterday from her husband, Chad Daybell, not seen in this video. In just under an hour, she will be back in a Kauai courtroom in hopes of lowering that bail ba bond. We'll bring you that live on the air on our 208 and also online at five o'clock. Now we obtained court documents today that detail other elements involved in this case. Shira Matsuzawa has been reading them this afternoon and she's here with more on what they reveal. Shira? Mark, we obtained those documents just about an hour ago. They lay out arguments from both the prosecutor and defense attorney in Hawaii and they were filed this morning in Hawaii. Now they are the arguments that we'll likely hear at Vallow's bond reduction hearing in less than an hour at 5 p.m. as you mentioned. But take a look. According to the documents, attorneys for Lori Vallow are asking her bond be reduced to $100,000 or at most $125,000. They're basing that amount off of the $152,000 balance that Chad Daybell, Lori's husband, had in his bank account last month. The prosecutors are reinforcing their arguments that Lori still poses a flight risk. For the first time, we're also learning through those documents filed this morning that Lori failed to comply with a court order regarding custody of her ex, her daughter with her ex-husband Joseph Ryan back in 2011. Now you might remember she also ignored a court order last month to produce JJ and Tylee in Rexburg. Also new today, different court records show Madison County issued four subpoenas in connection to the children's disappearance. They're addressed to the Madison County School District, Kennedy Elementary School in Rexburg, and the owners of a Kauai Beach Resort and rental property in which Lori Vallow and her husband Chad Daybell stayed at. The documents include requests for things like Kennedy Elementary discipline records and attendance records, as well as billing and reservation records for the resort. The subpoenas ask property owners and school officials to appear with the records at a March 9th hearing in Madison County. Also today, we're learning at least three people were subpoenaed for today's hearing, including Ron Ball, a detective from the Rexburg Police Department. Aside from court records, we're also learning from Elite Pacific Properties in Hawaii that the condo that Chad and Lori had been renting in, is in escrow. Now, we know there are a lot of documents in this case that we're sharing with you, and the legal process can be confusing, and you can find the subpoenas and all other records we've received on this case online at ktvb.com or get a direct link by texting the word MISSING to 208-321-5614.